Hi everybody and welcome to another 10 minute tip. My name is Sector 35 and today I'm going to be talking about Google dorking. A Google dork is a term used for using Google and using the advanced search operators. Now, advanced search operators are something like filters that you can use to greatly enhance the returned results from Google. Now, there are many different kind of filters or search operators you can use within Google, and there are far too many that we can talk about in this 10 minute video. But let's start with the basics. If we are looking for something on Google, for instance, OSINT for good, we have to remember that Google will always provide us the results where all of the three words are inside the page, but not always exactly in that order or right next to each other. If you want to look for a specific sentence, for instance, you have to encapsulate them with quotation marks. This way you tell Google to search for a specific sentence. If there are things that you want to exclude in a page, for instance, at this moment you are not looking at anything from medium or let's say sans because you're not interested at this moment in their courses, you can use a minus sign and add the word you want to exclude. Google will remove those hits from the search results, thus giving you a cleaner list of links. If you are not sure on what to call it, so let's say you say it's either called OSINT or intelligence, you can use Boolean logic. Now the word OR in capitals tells Google to search for anything that contains the word OSINT or intelligence in the title or in the page. Of course we see stuff about artificial intelligence, so we of course are going to remove that because we are not interested in that. So this way you see that you can combine different filters to target your results better. Another quick way of writing OR is using the piping sign or the vertical bar. And we can do that, for instance, let's say we are looking for me, WebBreacher or Nix Intel, and we are talking about hiking. We want to find out who of these three people likes to hike. Well, that way we find out that web preacher is usually the one that is associated with hiking. Okay, of course, I did write a blog about it, but I didn't even expect to come there for that to come up. Another very handy filter or search operator is searching for file extensions. Now, let's say that we are looking for someone called John Smith and we are going to look for their uh, curriculum vitae. We get all kinds of results. We get images, we get websites, we even get Pinterest. Now, if we are looking for a piece of paper or something that we can print out nicely, we can filter on file type, PDF, or another way of writing it is the EXT for extension. Do remember the EXT or file type filter is followed by a colon, no spaces, and then the file extension you are searching for, in this case, PDF. Google will find all kinds of PDF files that have John Smith as a name and curriculum vitae in it. Now there are many different file types that Google indexes and I will leave a link to those in the notes. Now there used to be a way with Google to search for multiple file extensions in one go by using ext colon and then within brackets we could specify multiple file extensions for instance the PowerPoint presentation format or the Word document or an Excel sheet format. Close the brackets and then our search query. And nowadays Google do return uh, things like Excel sheets, but it also has 
other formats. For instance, websites that include the term docx or xlsx. Now, the only way that we can now search for more than one file extension is by manually typing them all out. So extension pptx, then the logical or extension docx for the Word document, or the extension xlsx, and then our search query. And that way we do get the results that we are looking for. Now, if you are looking for specific words within the title of a website, there is another search operator you can use, and that is called in title. After in title, you add the colon and then the word you are searching for. Similar to that, if you are also looking for text inside a website, there is the specific filter called in text. Now, in text also is followed by a colon. Make sure there are no extra spaces around it. And you can, for instance, search for a cheat sheet. I add quotation marks around it because we want to search for that specific term. This way we get results where the word OSINT is in the title and the term cheat sheet is inside the page or the document that is indexed by Google. Another handy filter or search operator you can use is in URL. In URL followed by the colon and then you specify the word, the term or even a full path that has to be included in the URL. So let's say we want to look for WP content forward slash uploads, which is a default directory of WordPress sites where they upload their files and, and content. And we are looking for OSINT. That way we get results back from all kinds of PDFs that are uploaded somewhere on the internet, but in the path that is consistent with WordPress site. Something that looks very similar to that is site colon. With site colon, you can target your search and keep it within one specific domain. So we can say OSINT Curious, our website, and we are going to look for the word sock or puppet. This way, Google will only show the results from OSINT Curious that either have the word sock or the word puppet inside them. Now again, there are many, many different search operators and far too many to talk about, but I will leave a link below to at least one of our earlier blog posts that deal with Google dorking, and I will also leave a link to the file extensions that Google has indexed. Now, if there are any questions, please reach out and we will try to answer them as good as possible.